and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um in today's video i am going to show you how to use a cinch machine to make a today i'm making a sketch pad but you can use this to make planners journals anything that needs a coil that you have to do yourself i'm basically going to be teaching you how to use the cinch machine to coil your own whatever okay but today i did a sketch pad so this one I have made for my son this is the front and the back cover I did laminate the front and the back and then I just opted to use blank white pages with no lines so he could draw on it so this is a sketch pad um perfect for Christmas these make really really good Christmas gifts for kids especially kids who love to draw like my son he absolutely loves to draw color all those things so I thought a personalized sketch pad would be perfect for him yeah, if you want to learn how to use this inch machine, that's what we're doing today. Go ahead and stick around. All right, so we are going to go ahead and get started. Now, I do want to go over all of the materials that you need to do this because there is quite a few. Um, so the first thing you need is obviously your front and your back cover. Now, I did just print these on cardstock. Um, you can use reg uh, regular uh, copy paper if you would like. Um, I just like my back my front and back covers to feel a little bit thicker so that's why i did the uh cardstock but this is my front so you need to front and back cover um you do need some coils i will leave a link for these down below um these are the cinch we are memory keepers coils these are the five eighth inch ones that i got for today they do come in different colors so you can do black white i think they have gold and rose gold as well um, but like I said, I did get these from Amazon. I'll leave a link for them down below. Um, you do need some thermal laminating pouches. This is the one, the brand that I'm using, Scotch. You can use any brand that, you know, you choose. I, again, I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link for everything down below, but I, I got these from Amazon as well. Okay, you do need a thermal laminating machine. I have the Scotch brand. I believe I got this from Target, but I know that this is on Amazon as well. Um, you do need the cinch machine. Um, I also got this from Amazon. I got this like two, maybe almost three years ago. Um, but I'll leave a link for it down below. I did get it from Amazon. And they come in different colors too. I know a lot of people have different colors. And then for the inside sheet, I'm just using some copy paper. Some regular like printer paper because this is going to be a sketch pad. So I don't want there to be any lines on my paper. So I'm just using some regular uh, plain copy paper that you would put inside of your printer. Okay, so that is everything. Like I said, make sure you check the description box for the links. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is get out two sheets of paper, of the laminating paper, because we are going to laminate our front and back cover. Okay, and they just fold like this. And you put it inside okay so what I'm gonna do with this I am gonna have to trim the part so I want to only be able to trim I don't want to have to trim around the entire thing so I'm gonna place it inside of this pouch a certain way because I only want to have to trim the top and the side that's going to go on the coil the coil the, the side of the coil is gonna go on so I don't want to have to trim the side here that he would grab to open and close his book because that's going to get the most wear and tear and when you trim these sometimes um i do have a trick to make it so that it doesn't come apart but you wh wherever side you trim you want that side to be on the coil side because he won't be or whoever's having the book won't be touching that side that's the side with the coils okay so to do that I'm just going to place it all the way down at the bottom so that we won't have to trim the bottom. And then I'm also going to place it pretty close, not all the way, but pretty close to the edge so that this outside part won't have to be trimmed. Okay, so there we go. Let me see if I can show you. So that is how it looks 
see how close to the edge it is versus this side this side I'm gonna trim it just a tiny bit and the top as well will be trimmed a little bit but I purposely put it close to the edge because I don't want to have to trim this at all okay so there's just gonna be a small little lip of lamination it's not going to be all the way edge to edge you can't do it all the way edge to edge only because like i said if you if you um cut it it the lamination pouch will come apart okay so if you go for the lamination route just know that you're going to have a little bit of lamination lip right here okay and then all we're going to do is go ahead and just put it through and it goes through by itself and while it's doing that I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one using the cinch machine I used it a lot like back in 2020 when um the pandemic first hit i was using this thing so much i was making so many different um journals planners like all type of stuff <clears throat> and then you can you can see the color difference too so like here it doesn't look as vibrant versus after you laminate it it does can you see the color difference before and after you laminate so this is before you laminate this is after look how vibrant that color is beautiful oh I love that okay now I'm gonna go ahead this is the back cover and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna trim both sides okay so looking at it now here's our you can't really see it that much but here's the lip that will not be trimmed okay so that's sealed the bottom is also sealed it will not be trimmed okay but see how how small it is it's not that much you can't really see it now this side there's a lot okay so we're gonna trim this um just a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm using my little I don't even know what the heck this thing Sorry, I'm not in the camera. I don't even know what the heck this thing is called, but I'm using this. So go ahead and trim it. Because I also want to make sure my line is nice and straight too. Okay, that looks good. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to... Um, that didn't cut all the way the trick to making sure that your it doesn't come apart after you trim it is putting it back into the, the lamination machine for a second time after you trim it just to make sure that you seal those edges really really good okay so that's this one and then I'm gonna go ahead run it through a second time and while I'm doing that I'm going to trim our second color here okay that piece didn't cut either This piece doesn't want to cut. So I'm going to just grab my scissors and cut it off. Okay, there we go. Now our edge is nice and clean. And the top. And we ran it through the second time. And now I'm going to run this other cover through the second time. And now this is the cover that is finished. Super simple, right? Look at that color. I use my Epson uh, Workforce 7710. This is regular inkjet ink. I don't have any pigment ink. I don't have any sublimation ink. This is just regular inkjet ink in my 7710. My Epson 7710 that I've had for three years now. <clears throat> okay. 
So when it comes to using <clears throat> the cinch machine, so this is where you're going to punch your holes. Okay. Now these pegs here, you know what? I'm not even in the camera. One second. Let me move this out the way. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. These pegs here are so that you don't punch the wrong holes, okay? So the what we're using is an eight and a half by 11. Okay, these pouches are eight and a half by 11. We did trim the top off just a little bit, so it's probably like eight and a half by 10 and a half, okay? I don't, I don't even think I trimmed off a full inch off the top. But um, what you wanna do is normally I punch like material so together so these two are laminated so i can go ahead and punch these together now this is your front and back cover so you want to make sure you take your back cover and flip it okay don't punch it like this because then your your holes are going to be on the wrong side for your back cover you want to take your back cover flip it over and put it like this so back to back like this like a book, right? Because you're going to open it. This is going to be your inside pages. This is going to be your back cover. So make sure you flip that back cover over and you put these two pages back to back. Or if you want to just punch them one at a time, you can do that too, however you want to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and punch these together, okay? So how you use the stitch machine. This is how you were you measure it. So like I said, ours is going to be an eight and a half by 11. We're going to do two punches. The first one, you're just going to line it up with this lip here underneath. And you're going to make sure it's all, it's pushed completely up against the back of here. And it's completely down against this lip here. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and punch. And now we have our holes down here. We have our holes down here at the bottom. Now we need our holes up at the top. So what we're going to do this all the way down and we're going to do the same thing you want to push this all the way make sure this is pushed all the way up against the back here and all the way down on this lip here now what you're going to do is you're going to pull out your number 10 peg because if you don't it's going to punch a half hole at the top and then this you can uh push down it's going to kind of lock it in place so now I can't pull it out this locks the top hole in place so it doesn't shift when you go to pull it down when you go to pull this lever down this locks this in place so this doesn't or so this doesn't shift when you pull the lever down and we have our 10 peg pulled so that we don't get a weird half hole at the top okay now what we're gonna do is punch push the 10 peg back in unlock and there are the holes so now we have all of our holes for our front and our back cover and there's no weird half hole up here at the top okay now we're going to slide this back in and we're going to do our copy paper And I'll show you one more time and then I'm going to speed the rest of it up. So again, I just take a handful of sheets. I don't know how many I grabbed. I just grabbed a handful. Um, it punches a good amount of sheets. So however many this is, y'all, I'm not about to count it. Okay. But I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and pushed up against the back of here as well as at the bottom of this lip. And then we're going to go ahead and punch and I actually have too many sheets so I have to grab less next time okay there's our holes same thing I'm gonna lock it in place pull out the tin peg and I'm gonna push down that back up push the peg back in and there's our holes okay
Um, it also tell you tells you right here. So how do I know to push pull out the ten peg? There's a chart right here on the cinch. It says at the top the white part it says inches. So however many inches your sheet of paper is long wise. So ours is eight inches long. That's where it is right here. And then it tells you which peg to pull. I'm sorry, it's not eight inches long. It's eleven inches long. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> it's 11 inches long. It's 8 inches wide. So it's 11 inches long, which is right here, number 11. And then it tells you to pull peg number 10. So for 11 inches long, pull pen peg 10. For 12 inches long, pull peg 12. Okay? And so on and so forth. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is punch the rest of the holes for our inside pages. I'm going to uh, go ahead and speed that up and let you watch. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to add the coil. Here is the book, right? So here would be the front cover. The quails are here. Here's all of our pages and the back cover, okay? Now, I wanted this to be pretty um, thick. It's a sketch pad, but you don't want to make it thicker than what your coils can handle. Um, here is my coil here. Again, this is the, um, the Cinch We Are Memory Keepers brand that I'm using, and I'll leave this down below, a link for it. Um, but we're going to use our cinch to go ahead and bind it. Okay, that's the cool thing about this. So, all you're going to do is turn it around. Because now, to put the coils on, there is a part of the cinch machine here. That's what you're going to put your coils on and you're going to place it on. Okay? So, what you're going to do is you take... You have a pointy part of the coil... And then you have kind of like a closed part of the coil. The closed part of the coil here hooks onto these little hooks. Okay? Like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it just hooks right on. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. So yeah, it hooks right on the little hooks on the cinch machine now what i like to do is i put my the way i do my coils is i do the cover down first so that the coil part that opens and closes it goes to the back of the book oh i have to sneeze <sighs> okay so what i mean by that Here's one I did yesterday, and I didn't necessarily like how thin it was. I can take this coil off and redo it, which is what I plan on doing it, which is what I plan on doing, so just so I can make this thicker. I'll just have wasted a coil, but that's okay. Um, but this one, I didn't put the coil on right. So the part that's closed is kind of like in the middle of the book, or in the middle Versus like I want it to be towards the back like that. So in order to have it towards the back, you got to put the cover on first. So what I do is I take the cover. This is the cover. And I'm just going to place it, line it up with the holes, and put it right on the coil like that. And then I'm going to take some sheets, some inside cover sheets. Do the same thing. You just line it up and put it right on the holes and as long as you punched everything right everything should line up perfectly uh oh this page is ripped i don't want that one there we 
we go. And there we go. And then our back cover goes right. Just like that. Okay. So now it's nice and coiled. Now before you close it, you want to make sure you check the thickness of the book. Make sure it's as thick as you want it to be. This one is pretty thick. Um, it feels pretty good. I did want his sketch pad to be thicker. Um, but yeah, this feels pretty good. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to close our coils. And right, that you're going to do that here on this part of the machine, the back of it. So the top part, there's a little twist knob here that has numbers on it and those numbers are for the inch of coil that you have so ours is 5 8 inch okay 5 8 inch so what I have to do is I have to turn this knob to 5 8 inch to make sure sorry my camera is blurring, blurring up I have to turn it to the 5 8 inch knob because that's the size coil that I have and that's to make sure that we don't either, you know, overclose it or close it too tight or close it too loose. Okay, so then what you do is I close the top part first. You just take the coil, the open part, and you place it in there right up against the back. And then you're going to push it down. And you see it, it closes the coil. I do it, you know couple of times just to make sure it is closed all the way and then I'm gonna do this bottom part and like I said I just do it a couple of times because I just want to make sure it's nice and secure okay now we have this piece at the bottom but we can go ahead and cut that off no biggie and there's our little book. The scissors that I have, um, they're called uh, wire scissors. I got these from Amazon as well. They're pretty thick. They cut through this pretty easily. So all I do, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to cut right there. And then the sharp piece is going to get tucked under. Okay. So I'm just going to cut that off with my wire scissors. Okay. Now we have a little sharp piece here. And you just want to make sure that you tuck that underneath this other coil here so that it doesn't catch anything. Okay. Make sure it's nice and tucked. All right, and now as you can see, the opening to our coils are to the back of the book. So you don't have to worry about seeing that. It's nice and neat. This is the front. The opening to the coils is in the back. And here's our sketch pad. Super easy, right? Super cute, super easy. And then there's the back cover. And to print this, all I did, so I got this image on Etsy. And I just printed it from Silhouette on cardstock. That's all I did. I just took the image and I made it big enough to be able to fit an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. So to cover it. I mean, if you want to upload it to like Canva or if you use Photoshop to add anything to it, you can. But um, I bought it, I purchased it just like this. And I just uh, made it big enough to fit the 8.5 by 11 printed it on cardstock I didn't do anything special right super cute he's gonna love this my son absolutely loves to draw he loves to draw so I thought you know sketch pad would be perfect for him but yeah super easy 
that's all i have for this video guys if you have any questions comments concerns definitely drop them down below let me know if you like the cinch machine um if you have one if you use it if you like videos like this let me know in the comments if you want more content about the cinch machine like i said i've had mine for almost three years now so uh mine's pretty old i think they have a different color now i'm not for sure but you know I've been using this. I wore this little baby out. I'm I'm surprised that it's still, you know, in pretty good condition. And to store it, it's got like a little hook. So you just pull this down and hook it so you can store it like this. But I love this little thing, okay? But yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.